Chem 110B, sample final number 6. Is the molecular shape of the ASCL3 molecule straight line or linear, pyramidal, bent, trigonal planar, or tetrahedral? Those are your uh, uh, possibilities. There's the skeleton structure. Well, to get molecular shape, you have to do Lewis structure first. So let's do the Lewis structure. All right, so we've got AS. There's one of them. And what group is AS in? Well, you have to look for it. There it is. There's AS. It's in group 5A. That means five valence electrons, five outer shell electrons. Okay. And then we've got chlorine. There's three of them. And that's in 7A. So that's seven. So that's a total of 21. No charges. So add them up. 26 divided by two. 13 pairs. Good. 13 pairs. Okay, so 13 pairs has to go around this skeleton structure so that everybody's happy. Exactly 13 pairs. So, let's go. Single bonds between the center atom and the outer atoms. Then make the outer atoms happy. That doesn't take long, so that's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. 13 pairs, one more on the AS. That's all 13. Chlorine's happy, 2, 4, 6, 8. Chlorine's happy, 2, 4, 6, 8. Chlorine's happy, 2, 4, 6, 8. So all the chlorine's happy. What about the AS? Remember, covalent bonds are shared, which means both atoms feel like they own all of those electrons. So, bonding atom, bonding atom, bonding atom, lone pair. One, two, three, four. Two, four, six, eight. The AS is happy too. That's the Lewis structure. Great. So that's step one. Lewis dot structure. Step two. Count number of places where electrons live. Okay around the central atom. So the central atom is this. How many places can you find electrons that are attached? Places where you find electrons around the AS. Well, there's one, two, three, four. So that means there are four places. If there are four places, the arrangement or the geometry, the way they get arranged so that all those electron pairs are spread out as far as possible, for four is called tetrahedral. Okay? And then three, are there any lone pairs which are invisible but very repulsive center atom. Are there? Yes. Okay, so now you have to visualize what the shape is. Okay, so let's see if we can draw it here. There's the AS. There's a big lone pair sitting up there. We've got the CLs going back into the paper and then we've got this CL jumping way out at you. There's perspective. So it's like a tripod here with something sticking up on top that you can't see. That's what a tetrahedral is. You can't see the top. So it's like a tripod or a pyramid. Pyramid shape. Okay? That's it. You don't have to draw it, but you have to be able to see it. That's number six. If you need more practice, that's chapter 17, example B, C, and D. Good luck.